What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys the iOS 7 Control Center. So you can see here, if I swipe up on the device right here, you get the Control Center and it has a ton of different functions and features within this Control Center. Now if you have a jailbroken device or had a jailbroken device, it's going to remind you a lot of SB settings because SB settings that came out in 2009 actually had a ton of toggles and it gave you a lot of features that you weren't really used to in iOS. Now here in the control center you can see if we start off up here at the top you have your toggles so here is airplane mode so you can toggle that on and off just by tapping that and you can see right there it gives you a little text notification right there at the top of the control center when you turn on or turn off a toggle so if I turn that back off you can see airplane mode is off you also have Wi-Fi toggle, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, and Orientation Lock. Now again, if I just tap one of these, you get that nice little notification right there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off. Now right below that is the brightness setting. So if we slide that up or down, you obviously change the brightness of your device. Now that's really nice because I always find myself jumping into settings and having to turn up or turn down my brightness, depending on what I'm doing and what time of day it is. Now right below that is going to be your music control. So you can see here this is obviously your volume slider and right above that is going to be your music controls and you can see the name of the track as well scrolling through right above the music controls. Now if we go up here to the top you can actually search through your song so if you wanted to swipe through you can do that right there so it's going to be able to fast forward through the song or go back to a specific spot in the song if you want to do that. Now right below that is going to be your airdrop toggle. So if we just tap on airdrop here, you can either turn that off, you can make you discoverable by contacts only, or make you discoverable to everyone. And you can just tap on one of those and that's going to set that feature. So right now I'm discoverable to everyone, so we'll just change it to contacts only. As you can see right there, it changed it immediately. And down here at the bottom you have your quick access app. So right here is going to be your flashlight. So if I turn that on, you can see the flashlight in the background. And if I tap on this, this is actually going to be your timer. And if you tap on that, it's going to open up the clock application. So you can go to your world clock, your alarm, stopwatch, or your timer right there. So like I said before, you can access your control center from the application. So let's just swipe up again. And here is your calculator. So if you want to access your calculator, just tap on that. It's going to open right up. And then last but not least, we have the camera application. So we'll tap on that and it's going to open up the camera app. So the last thing that I do want to show you is going to the lock screen. This does work on the lock screen like I stated before. All you have to do is swipe up just like you would on the home screen and it's going to show up just like that. Now in my opinion the control center is a huge plus to iOS 7. It really gives you a lot of functionality and it's accessible from almost everywhere on your device. So let me know what you guys think about the control center on iOS 7 in the comments below. Now if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos on iOS 7 then make sure to subscribe. Alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.